His name was Klaus von Stauffenberg, and he was the mastermind behind the sixth and final assassination attempt of Adolf Hitler. This photo was taken before he was blinded in his left eye. He lost his right hand and three fingers on his left hand while fighting in North Africa for Adolf Hitler. The sixth and final assassination attempt against Adolf Hitler took place here in Poland. It was at a place called the Wolf's Lair. And I marked it for easy discovery. took place right here on this grounds. Now the wolf's lair was made up of many, many buildings, but the particular building that the assassination attempt took place in was called the conference room. And that conference room is exact location is right here where this marker is. So what I'm going to do is go down to Google Earth, to the trail. Now you can walk up this trail. The entrance is down this way and you come down this trail and you see this and I'm pretty certain this is supposed to be the end of the building down here where the actual bomb was placed and exploded in hopes of killing Adolf Hitler. Now if I back up a little right about here according to the information I found this location where Adolf Hitler and his men are standing which is just moments before the assassination attempt, is supposed to be in the location where I was on Google Earth. You can see the building here, and this tree right here is supposed to be this tree right here. Now, I don't know if that's true, but it's supposed to be. And if that is true, then that photo of all of them standing, they would have been standing approximately right in here. Which means the assassination attempt would have taken place approximately where this boulder is with the plaque on it, or what I think is actually right down in this end of the building where the bomb was placed underneath that table. Now if we go down, and I'm going to take a shortcut just right through the bushes here. Let's see if it works. Too far, right about here. There is another memorial right here at the other end of the building and it has this and it basically says that this is the location where on July 20th, 1944, this was the barracks that Adolf Hitler was in when they tried to assassinate him. This is the other end of it. After the explosion, Klaus von Stauffenberg saw the explosion According to the description I read, he saw bodies flying out of the windows. He was 100% certain Hitler had been killed, so he left the compound and headed to Rostenburg Airport, or Airfield. So here is the Wolf's Lair right here, and he made it down to this airfield right in here. Now, I don't know if this is the layout of the runways as they were in 1944. This could be right here. This looks like it could be some old runways, but it is a grass field. There are newer looking runways here. But this is the location where Klaus von Stauffenberg came to after the bomb exploded, got into an airplane, and headed west back to Berlin. right over here and he went back to the building known as the Bendler Block. Now this building right here is the Bendler Block and he was certain Adolf Hitler had been killed but Adolf Hitler was not killed. He survived the explosion and they were able to quickly figure out who was responsible for it. So a little bit after midnight Early in the morning of July 1st, 1944, less than 24 hours after the explosion, Stauffenberg and several others were executed right here in the courtyard of the Bendler Block. Now here's a picture of the Bendler Block. 
today and you can see this monument and I'm pretty certain this monument represents the firing squad or, or where the firing squad stood and this statue represents where Klaus von Stauffenberg and others stood while they were being executed. The description I read said that they were executed on a dirt mound inside the courtyard of the Bendler block. And if you look at this old photo, you can see here in the center, there is a mound of dirt in the center of the Bendler block. So with this photo here, and being at the Bendler block here, I'm pretty confident that either this is the exact location where the firing squad stood and Klaus von Stauffenberg stood here, or at least it's in very close proximity to the actual location of the execution. Back at Google Earth, if you look a little closer, you can actually see the monument right here. This, I'm going to turn this a little. So you can see right here, this would be the location where the firing squad stood. There's a plaque right here, and that plaque is right in front of the statue, which represents those who are being executed right here. Now there are some photos here, if we can go down and look. Now from this perspective, it's looking back at the firing squad. You can see the entrance here. You can see this tree right here inside the courtyard. And over to the right, you can see a staircase with the handle right here. You can see this doorway here with these lamps. In 2008, Tom Cruise made a movie titled Valkyrie. And in that movie, they actually came to this location to film the final execution scene of Klaus von Stauffenberg. And here on a video clip that I froze right at that point, you can see where the character played by Tom Cruise, Klaus von Stauffenberg, is laying. This is actually Tom Cruise. You can see that tree right here. You can see the doorway here. But more importantly, you can see those stairs and the handle of the stairs going down right here. Now the location of the monument is back here, and of course it's being covered by all these props for the movie, but the actual location of where they filmed the movie Valkyrie is just outside this door and next to these steps right here in this location, as you can clearly see. And once again, right here, you can see the steps, the exit here, the tree. Tom Cruise would have been approximately right in here, pretending to be dead right in here. I'm going to turn this back north. And as a result of that assassination attempt, a total of 7,000 people were arrested. And out of that 7,000, 4,980 of them were executed. Not all of them were part of the plot, but the Gestapo used this opportunity to execute anybody they suspected of having sympathy for the opposition or sympathy for those who tried to kill Hitler. Now, only a small number of men were killed here in the courtyard. I believe it was five or six that were executed right here. Of the 4,980, a lot of them were executed in a place that kind of became famous in the movie. Back here, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Plotzensee Prison, where they hung them on those meat hooks. And that actual location is right here in this building. And you can see... The entrance is right here. You walk into the entrance. This is the building. You see this wall right here. So when you walk in, you will see this wall right here. And around this side of the wall, I guess if you're facing the wall, that would be the right side of the wall. You see two doors. You see this one here on the right and then this one here on the left. The door on the right, if you walk into it, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this brick building. It looks kind of like a museum. You'll see these two windows here, but this is what you're going to see. If you walk into the door here on the left, you will see this. And this is the actual location where they hung many, many people who were part of the plot to kill Hitler and those who were sympathizers for those who tried to kill Hitler. Now, if we go outside, these two windows right here, this one here and this one here, you're going to see them right here. They'd be the two windows on the right side. So that means that all those executions actually took place right on the other side of this wall in this section of the building, which means back here at Google Earth, if you're getting close to the building, those the actual executions took place right about here. They came in through here, entered in here, and were executed right in here in this building. Now this is a little bit of a grainy picture, but this is a picture closer to the actual time that the executions occurred. You can see the two windows right here. You can see that there is a 
set of stairs going up to what I would call the gallows. Up here is where the meat hooks were. And this thing right here is an, actually a guillotine that they used to cut people's heads off. So they didn't just hang them in here. They also cut their heads off using this device right here. Now here's a picture of that same guillotine looking the other way. Behind the photographer is where they had the gallows. And back this way to where you see this window, just to the right of it, is the entrance. They would lay the individuals here, put their head in here, use this blade to cut their head off, and then catch their head in this bucket. And uh, this is what it would look like today, or fairly close to today, very similar to this. And they keep that place alive and well for the memory of what happened there in hopes that it will never be repeated. So there you have it. The, the sixth and final assassination attempt against Adolf Hitler, which took place July 20th, 1944, the execution place of those who tried to carry out the assassination, and the execution place of almost 5,000 people who either had something to do with the plot or were just sympathizers with those who tried to kill Hitler. And you got all that right here on Google Earth.